Welcome back to Sigma Plays. We're gonna beat this. I feel like this level is just like really long and slow because you have to do all this jumping. Yeah. Um, all this platforming. Yes, with all these platforms, it all does look really the same too. It's like it's like trying to drive you insane. <laughs> I think that's the point of the entire game. Yeah. I think it's working. It fucking definitely is working on me. It sucks that like that last place. The only reason I died is because I was like anticipating like death. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to save myself. Here you go. <laughs> I really wanted to try jumping at the wall higher up too, because I'm like so. You, are you like pretty certain there's a spot in this level? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm like, I'd say 90%, but it's like a very, it's like the most flimsy 90 ever. <laughs> um, but I know like you go through the wall and uh, there's like a teleporter. There's like a potion and a teleporter. And, and it teleports you. teleports like to the end? Yeah. It sounds great. And it teleports you to like the checkpoint before you fight the boss in this level. There's a boss in this level? Yeah, he's oh, wait, the fucking six-armed man, and he jumps. Kalaktos? Yeah, but he jumps, and oh, it's man. awful. That's actually my and he doesn't have a sword. He's like the first boss that doesn't have a sword. I think Kalaktos is my favorite part of Skyward Sword. Yeah. So I just I like he is killing awesome. him with his own giant scimitar. Yeah. He, oh my god, he's got scimitars too. Uh, I think you go up. I was reading my Hyrule Historia today. Yeah? I'm so jealous. I, want I got it like super cheap. I think I have an E Historia. Oh, well, I always get confused with the timeline. I've like read it over a few times, but I always just forget about it. Yeah. Well, it's like that hero dying thing is kind of bullshit. I hope they do something to like make it less bullshit. Yeah. I feel like they never will, but like, I hope like. Some point in the timeline, they're like, right, "This timeline's just fucked up. We need to go back to where it started." And then they just like do something to like say, "Fuck off." Like return it to the regular timeline. Yeah, because that's more of a multiverse than a timeline. Yeah, wasn't there? There was what a game theory episode with that. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Yeah, you go that way because the other way just shows you the potion. Yeah. Show me the money. That was, oh my god, I was trying so hard to, I was talking to Beta earlier about the show Rick and Morty, because I si recently rewatched the whole thing. At least I think I was talking to Beta, I don't know who else I talked to. Um, You're just talking to yourself in the mirror? But I was talking about, we were talking about the episode where they go to like the fucking Rick Parliament, and like in the Rickverse, yeah. and they see all the different kinds of Ricks, and there was like a guy who was like, Get your Morty chains to decorate your boring old Morty! And then he also has a Morty doll, and I was trying- it says a pun, and I was trying to remember the fucking pun that the Morty doll says. And he says, SHOW ME THE MORTY! <laughs> <laughs> and it's- I, like, I lost it when I was watching it the other day, because it's so funny. I think it's on this screen on the upper one, but- uh, I'm not gonna try. Yeah. I can't wait till that show's back. When does it This come? summer, there should be another damn it, season. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. And I hope- damn it. I fucking hope, uh, like, evil cyborg Morty fucking comes back. Oh, I forgot about him. Yeah, because that was, like, so badass when he walks away at the end. I know it's, like, a parody of, like, twist endings in general, but, like, it was still super badass. How, how many episodes were there in that first season? Wasn't it only, like, Eleven? Fuck. Wasn't, oh, okay. wasn't there that many? I thought it was, like, six or something. No, there's eleven. There was one episode. The uh, for some reason it's the episode I talk about the most, and I completely forgot about it. But it's the Needful Things one. Oh where yeah. Summer works for the devil. I, I always, was, I was really surprised they actually just called it Needful Things because that's straight up the name of a Stephen King book. Yeah, yeah. Like I read it in high school, and it's not even that good. No. But and it's, like, it's like the exact same like plot. Like, the, literally the exact same. I always reference it, because I always reference the point um, at the, the ending credit sequence where uh, Summer and Rick get buff and, like, just kick the shit out of all the people. Like, the guy who, like, abuses his dog and, like... And, like, like I think a DMX song plays. And it's so funny. If you guys haven't Ooh, watched Rick and Morty, watch it, guys. It's... 
like hilarious. Yeah, it's. it's you gotta get used it, it to did, it. It did surprisingly like well for like a pilot season too. Yeah, like it yeah. got really like internet popular, which I guess is like all it takes like these days. Yeah. I'm I'm so glad there's gonna be a second season of it. Like, it's hilarious. And that episode where they're just like uh, going through all like the the different like channels. Oh man, yeah. And, and you could tell like uh, so much of it was ad lib. Like they were like laughing. The, yeah, they're like laughing well because a lot of the dialogue in that show is improvised. Yeah. And they're like laughing while they do it. Did I say it was this one? Or no, it's the one above. I said. I thought it was this one. What's above? <laughs> What's above? So. I think that's where I died last time. Because I, I, I didn't think I was right at the end of a platform, so I jumped and oh, went to I hold. I think it's this one. I'm gonna try it. I have to. Okay. so many screens. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I, oh, I keep forgetting what there's spikes everywhere. Hey, whenever you get so far in a level that you forget like what the start was like, and then you like die at the start, you're just like, God yeah. Damn. Have you read Needful Things? Uh, no, I haven't. Have you read any Stephen King books? Yeah, I have. I've read a bunch. I just haven't read I them. really like them usually, but the endings usually suck balls. The Stephen King's books? Yeah, I find his, his endings are just so lackluster usually. I'm trying to remember, like, an ending that I can specifically remember. Um, two that I remember that are bad are Cell and Under the Dome. I don't think I've seen those. I read thinner. I own that. That he gets a curse that like he gets thinner, right? Yeah, he gets a gypsy curse that like eats away at him. I did. Yeah, Stephen King books are interesting. Yes. Oh man, blue guy knocked me off. So I was reading a thing. Um, I've stopped looking at the timer. Okay, we're good. Okay, I'll try this again. Hey, yeah, because I thought instead of like going on the ledge like usual before I battled the blue guy, yeah, uh, I just like tried to drop down him, but then I accidentally just let him swing for a while and he just knocked me right off. Oh, fuck. I was trying to read where that secret passageway is and I can find it. Because I just. I looked at like a wall of text and I was like, I'm not reading this. I always wondered like who the people are that put like a bunch of time into making like a walkthrough. I have no idea who would do that. And they always have those like really detailed like maps using only like like vertical <laughs> bars and, yeah. and like underscores. And it's like, like, who would need this? How do, do they think. Do you think they like scale it? They like. Figure the exact dimensions and then like recreate it using only symbols. Oh my god, that'd be so much work. Yeah. Fuck him. We never get to that purple guy. Then we know. It reminds me how I used to always go on like game facts. Oh yeah, yeah. The forms there are really weird. Are they? What are they like? I don't know. I haven't been on them in a while. Sometimes they're not bad, but sometimes they're just like... Like, weird in what way? Like, like the topics are weird. Like, it's just like unexpected topics. Oh, if you fight him, this is what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's there, there must be something here, right? Yeah. Was there any other point where you could, like, get up here? I don't know. It's so I'm like here, I'm like trying to look like for this secret that I think I can remember. No. There's no other way up. What? Oh yeah, because we we were on that other side at one yeah. point, right? I think. Oh. Potion of warp. 
I like how it just says that on the wall. Yeah. Potion of War. Fuck. What's on the ceiling there? That's one of those crushers. Oh. Hasn't there not been a crusher for like ever? Yeah, since that like fucking skeleton Wasn't got there wiped only out one? by one. There was only one crusher. There was like two. I think. I don't remember. Maybe. Well, I was starting to not believe you about the secret. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, and I can drop on it. Shit's real, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is not the boss I thought I would fight. This guy's hard. I think. He's also a knight. Is this... I also think you can get the light potion right before this guy, too, and I just forgot to do it. Like, if you go down lower. Mm -hmm. I I kind of wish there was, like, the the battles weren't all based around, like, sword play. Like, there was maybe, like, environmental interaction yeah, or something. Yeah, there is later. You'll get your wish with the next boss. Nice. Nice. Yes! Dragon mouth. Yeah, this is this doesn't feel okay. <laughs> is that the end of that level? Yeah, it is, yeah. That's not bad. I guess we could oh. use the potion of a warp. I think this level is just the boss. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Sigma Plays. Uh, join us next time for the boss that I thought I was going to fight before. Uh, <laughs> I've been Sigma. I've been Jason. Sigma out.